What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great thirsty Thursday, and um, we've got some news on the Dallas Cowboys and some great news, great news after what we were dealing with last year with Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup, of course, you know, they told us that he might be ready to start training camp and start the season, and it was weeks in, and he was never really fully there. The good news is Tony Pollard has been cleared for training camp that he says he is ahead of schedule. He's able to cut, push off, and everything else. So that is some incredible, incredible, great news for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, other news, Micah Parsons. When I saw this picture, I had a flashback. I had a flashback of last year because in practice, we talking about practice, not, not the game, not, not the game that I love. We talking about practice. In practice, seeing, hold on. Excuse me. Seeing this clip, this picture of Micah Parsons going against Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith at the right tackle. But I had a flashback. I don't know if you guys remember last year. Micah Parsons put a move on Tyron Smith that literally had him, you know, just, just reaching for air. And it was a couple of days later that literally his hamstring ripped off the bone now I'm not I, I'm not a doctor okay I'm not part of the training staff I don't know for sure but I'm wondering if that move that Micah Parsons did literally shook that hamstring loose where it just literally just gave way you know sometimes when you get an injury it's not that play it's the plays leading up to that play that do the damage and it just finally gives you know the straw that broke the camel's back so to speak or ripped the hamstring off the muscle so i saw that picture and i had that flashback about oh man um yeah yeah and don't think that otas injuries can't happen you may remember maybe you don't but zach martin as a rookie first practice of mini camp no pads no contact literally pulled came around to Sean Lee and Sean Lee messed up his knee yeah messed up his knee ripped just just gone so things can happen in OTAs players can be lost for the year and knock on wood let's hope that that doesn't happen let's hope that Tyron Smith does not have the setbacks before the season even starts but Micah Parsons, ooh, Micah Parsons says, Micah Parsons says he may be playing not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but about eight different positions this season. Remember I said somebody needs to revive those Bo knows ads because Bo knows Bo, Bo was doing everything. Bo was playing baseball. Bo was playing, you know, uh, running back. Bo was everything. That's Micah Parsons. So you can expect to see Micah Parsons anywhere along the line. That means defensive end, outside linebacker on the left side, on the right side, defensive end, outside linebacker. That's four. Uh, defensive tackle on the left and on the right, that's six. Nose tackle, that's seven. And he said he could play secondary. But what about middle linebacker? That'd be nine. And depending on what position, hell, why don't we just say he's going to play every position on the field? Every position. So there's that. So Micah Parsons is gearing up. He's on a mission to get the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. Insert laugh now, Eagle fans. Insert laugh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have your fun right now. 
you're headed for a fall. You're headed for... Think about good times. I'm old enough to understand. Good times don't last forever. They're followed up by the bad times. And you've done had some good times. Now it's time for your bad times. But Micah Parsons is on a mission to get to the Super Bowl and win. And Micah Parsons is on a mission to be defensive player of the year. There's no if, ands, or buts about that statement. That's the facts about it. That's the facts, Jack. He is on a mission to get her done. Um, yeah, that's what we got right there. C.D. Lamb so, talking about his contract. Says, you know, um, of course it's on my mind, but I'm not really worried about it. You know, I'm focused in on this season and playing football. And see, if it ends up being that the Cowboys don't get her done, which is not a surprise because that's one of the things that the Cowboys do. They don't always get that shit done. Um, it's about playing lights out and getting them by the cojones and forcing them to pay you even more the next year. Um, but one thing the Cowboys do as far as contracts go um, we've had Dak Prescott talking about his contract as well, extension. And the Cowboys typically get those things done during training camp. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was Zeke Elliott's extension that happened in training camp. So um, they were trying to get Dak Prescott at that time. He was on the franchise tag done in July just before training camp, but didn't get it done before the 15th at 4 o'clock. They were still working on getting the, everything together on it. Man, this looks so good. Oh my god. I got a garden hose on the side of the house. I got I got a garden hose. Yeah. It's like that. And uh, I'm about to have a bathroom sink in here. It's going to be working in a, in a few minutes. Uh, anyway, they're typically not ones to hurry up and get this stuff done. They are that kid that waits till the last minute to get his homework done. They just are. That's just the way they are. There's no way, no ifs, ands, or buts around it. That's just what they do. And that's what we have to expect as Cowboy fans. All right. Got some more materials because I go through that shit so fast. You know? I mean, seriously. I, I'd have been to Home Depot. I got a couple of sheets of plywood on the cabinets and used all that stuff up. You know, I got four bags of, or three bags of mortar for Jet. He's going to use that shit up. Bam. Bam. It, the shit just don't last. It just don't last. But uh, this place is looking good, man. This place is looking good. I had uh, Waynesboro.com came through, and he's like, man, this place is good. This place is good. On Facebook, people are going crazy about it and sharing it and excited about it. It's actually nice for once that people are happy about something that's going on having some good news as opposed to just negative news. All right, good people. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.